peanut butter with pickles, strawberries with sour cream, baking a chicken with apples, mixing an avocado with honey. Now, those may not sound very appetizing unless you've actually tried them and you realize those are delicious combinations. In today's video, gents, we're going to talk about surprisingly stylish clothing combinations. Surprising clothing combination number one, gentlemen, don't be afraid to mix and match patterns. Have fun with this. In fact, you can bring in four or more patterns very easily. And a lot of guys resist this because they're afraid it's going to over, it's going to come over, off as just too much, as flamboyant, as looking clownish. Here's the key with matching patterns and looking stylish is make sure that you never repeat the same pattern to keep them muted, especially when you start to bring in a lot. So let's start off with the suit. Oftentimes we're going to keep this solid. Most of you guys maybe own a few solid suits. If you own more, then you can start to bring in other patterns. But the key when you're bringing all these patterns together, make sure that they're not the same size. So if you're going to bring in multiple stripes, make sure that the basically the space between the stripes on your shirt, on your suit are not the same. But let's say you go with a solid suit, then you could bring in a striped shirt right here. I've got a solid colored shirt, but I could have easily brought in a striped. Then wear a necktie, a necktie being able to bring in all of a sudden a wide range such as dots, such as small repeating patterns. You can also bring in a bit of texture. Then your pocket square, all of a sudden paisleys. If you wear this as a sports jacket, you could actually bring in maybe a Glen check on your trouser or have a very muted Glen check on the jacket and keep the trousers solid. So right there you can see bringing in four to five patterns and those combinations look, especially if you keep the colors a bit muted, nothing really standing out. The whole combination just really can work for you. So now I want to take a second to bring in the sponsor of this video, Original Grain. And why they fit this video really well, gentlemen, is who would have thought of mixing steel with wood? And I love this combination. If you haven't checked out their watches here, I'm going to pull up their site. Go check this out. Look at the beautiful collections. I've talked about these. They're different styles. The Chrono, the Classic, the Barrel, the Minimalist. But look at how they mix that steel with the wood. And for this video, guys, I want you to actually in the comments, let me know which wood type you love. You guys know if I have extra watches, I love to send them your way. But look at the wood types. Look at the Whiskey. Look at the Rosewood. Look at the Ebony. Look at the Maple. Look at the Vera wood. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite wood type is. And you know, if I've got some extras, I could send them your way. But guys, this combination right here, I can tell you, I love it. Doesn't this work great with this outfit? The brown right here with the blue, that nice silver steel. I've told you guys I'm a silver guy. Some of you guys may be gold, but whatever you want to go with, look at, I, I just love the combination. Another thing to note, gentlemen, is they've got beautiful packaging. So they come in these, of course, beautiful wood boxes. And as you can see, think about this, a great gift that you could give to anyone. And guys, they're a great company. They've been a sponsor of mine for over a year. Talk said great things about them. I know you guys love these watches, so go check them out. Another surprising combination I love is when you actually mix a rougher textured fabric with a smoother textured fabric. So right here, we've got a regular cotton shirt, very tight weave. It's made from an Egyptian cotton, has a very nice, a little bit of a, you know, not a sheen or anything, but definitely has a nice smooth look. Then over here on the jacket, we've got texture with it. The pocket square, this one's made from linen. Again, a very smooth. So using texture, mixing rough with smooth is a great combination. This tie would look great simply because, hey, it's going to contrast a bit with the shirt. It's also the color is going to help it stand out, but I could just as easily wear a very nice silk. And again, that nice sheen on it, a very dressy look, and it would kind of take this up. This is going to be a pretty casual look, but you guys can see how you can mix and have fun with those combinations. Surprising clothing combination number three, incorporate the odd vest. So the odd vest is where you've actually got it separate from a three piece suit. This is a vest that stands on its own. Oftentimes the back of this vest is going to be made so it can be seen off. If you look at one that was comes with a suit, it's oftentimes going to have a silk back. Odd vests are oftentimes going to have more of a structured back. They're going to look a little bit more finished back there, but you can still go with something that's got a silk background. The idea though is to wear it with a jacket or to wear it with a pair of trousers in of itself. So it's the color stands apart. So right here, if I wore a red, if I wore a blue, that would look really good. The red definitely would stand out, would grab attention. Most of it, depending on how the V is right here and me wearing this jacket, it actually would be covered. But people at different angles would be able to see the layered look. And I think it's a great way to be able to add style. Actually, the function of a vest is actually to add warmth. So right there, you can level up your style by bringing in the odd vest. Surprising clothing combination number four, 
navy suits with dark brown shoes. A lot of guys, they always go with the black shoes. Why not change it up? Go with the dark brown. And if it's a lighter blue suit, if it's a true blue suit, maybe look at Oxblood. Surprising combination number five, and while we're talking about shoes with suits, why not a pair of white, clean sneakers with a casual suit? What's a casual suit? A casual suit is often made from a pattern that's going to be a little bit more eye-catching, not necessarily the darkest color or a solid color. It's going to bring in a pattern. Uh, you could also have texture with it, but try matching that with a white pair of sneakers. Now, you have to have confidence. You need to make sure it's appropriate, but for a younger man, I think you can pull it off, especially if you're going to be on your feet all day. But notice, I said clean. The thing with those white shoes, you got to keep them clean. So, you're going to be walking through the city and it's a muddy day. Guys, don't even try. Surprising clothing combination number six, wear dark colored shirts with lighter colored jackets. I pull this off a lot in my videos because I love darker colored shirts. So, they're a big part of my wardrobe and a lot of the jackets I gravitate towards are going to be lighter, a little bit, have a little bit of color to them. But I could wear this shirt with a white jacket, with a gold jacket, which I've done, uh, with a lighter brown than actually this, go with maybe a tan. I could also wear this with a light blue, a light green, a wide variety of colors I could pull off with this darker colored shirt. Surprising clothing combination number seven, closely tied to the last one we talked about, is actually pulling in turtleneck sweaters or a wide variety of darker colored sweaters and wearing them with those lighter colored jackets. Again, we're looking to get mileage out of everything. You guys know I love the interchangeable wardrobe, but I think maybe a burgundy colored sweater with a brown, light brown colored jacket is a great combination, especially if you've got a medium to high contrast and that's basically where you've got lighter colored skin with darker colored hair or you've got medium colored skin with medium colored hair or darker colored hair. So, for those kind of guys, they can definitely pull off that look. My next surprising clothing combination, gentlemen, take the classic navy jacket, the one maybe with the gold buttons with a nautical feel to it, mix it with red chinos, great combination. Now, make sure that they aren't cargo pants. They don't have the cargo on them. That's a little bit too fashion forward. And I do recommend this combination for the younger man, but I think it's what a lot of guys, even into their 30s and 40s, can still pull off. Now, these last two combinations have to do with denim. So, first off, you can wear jeans with a denim top. So, denim and denim. The key here is you don't want them to match exactly. You want to go with something that's got a bit contrast, maybe a darker wash in your jeans and a lighter wash in on the jacket. Now, let's get back to that denim jacket for our last surprising clothing combination. So, I think the denim jacket is a classic piece in any man's wardrobe. Get the fit right, but when you get the fit right and it's close to the body, it may be you know, too cold outside to actually just wear this jacket in of itself, but you can layer with it. So, if it's close enough of a fit and if your sports jackets are a little bit looser, you can actually wear that denim jacket under a sports jacket. Now, that's going to be a little bit more of a fashion forward look, a probably more a look that more guys can pull off is when they wear the denim jacket and they wear another jacket over that, a heavier coat, like maybe a parka, maybe a tr you know, type of trench coat, maybe an overcoat, maybe a pea coat. I've seen that. It looks really good. You can even wear a fatigue jacket as well. But what I like to see is a little bit more of a contrast between maybe the pea coat, the darker color, and the lighter color denim. Just a great overall combination. Guys, Hopefully, you learned something new in this video. I and I would love to hear from you guys down in the comments. What are some surprising clothing combinations that you highly recommend? And go check out Original Grain, a great company. They've been a sponsor for over a year. Their watches are amazing. And let me know what your favorite wood is because I've got some, you know, I've got some extra watches. I'll send them your way. Gentlemen, that's it. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.